Hello and good evening. My name is Joy and I'm the owner of BBH Customs. And this evening, I am going to be showing you how to create your very own template for those jumbo cards in Silhouette Studios. That's right. I'm going to show you how to create those jumbo card templates in Silhouette Studios. I will be using the business edition, but you can create these templates in Silhouette Studios, the basic edition but you will not be able to save them um, so that you will be able to um, download them as such um, in the PDF file like you would need to. So I am using business edition, but nevertheless, I'm going to show you how to, once again, use Silhouette Studios to create those templates. So here we go. I'm going to start sharing my screen. So let's get to it. So as you can see, this is Silhouette Studios. I have started sharing my screen. Um, what I'm first going to do is, if you're not familiar with Silhouette, I am hoping that you are. Um, once again, I am going to be working from the business edition. Um, not going to be giving too much detail about Silhouette because this is not a tutorial on how to use Silhouette. It's a tutorial on showing you that you can create these uh, jumbo card templates in Silhouette. So with that being said, I'm going to go over here to the right of my screen to my open page setup panel. And I'm going to select it by, set, by selecting my page setup panel. I'm going to be able to set up my page panel to the desired um work area that I'm going to be working in okay so my design space right so what I'm going to do is for my machine because of course you know silhouette studios silhouette studios go with um the silhouette machine cutter um the silhouette vinyl color cutter or plotter or um you know whatever you call it it goes with that but you can use it, you know, of course, as design software or design program as well. So we are going to be using it as just that today. So for the machine, which is number one, you're going to be selecting none. For the cutting mat, which is number two, you're going to be selecting none. And for the media size, which is number three, you're going to select custom. I am going to select custom and I am going to select a 13 for the width and 19 for the, for the height, okay? Everything else is good. We're going to go with that. It's good to go. You see your design space, your work area has already been sized and suggested. Now, what we're going to go to do, we're going to go over here to the left of the screen and you see our drawing tool um, board where you see our shapes. And you'll see the, if you go over, slide it right over to your right and you'll see that rectangle shape, you're going to select that and you're going to take that and start drawing a rectangle. Once you draw the rectangle to your desired size, do not select it again. You want to go up here to your select arrow and you're going to select it because what that is going to do is going to prevent you from drawing any more rectangles and it's going to prevent you um, and it's going to keep you from, um, you know, making any more marks and it's going to allow you to only select anything that's on the screen. So now that we have drawn our rectangle, I want to adjust this rectangle to the same size as my workspace. So I'm going to go up here to my width and I'm going to put 13 and I'm going to, well, first unlock that lock because it's going to, which it adjusted when I put 13, it adjusted to 
18.913, which is pretty good. So we're going to leave it right there. But we would you, you can go in and select it and you can do and go in and put uh, 19, you know, that 18.913 was fine as well. So now we have our 13 by 19 um, design space. We also have our 13 by 19 rectangle, which is right here. We go back over here to the right of the screen. We're going to go to our open fill panel. In our open fill panel, we can select a color that we would like for our background or our rectangle to be. So I am going to select black, okay? So the um, the time of year it is, is you know, we're preparing for Valentine's Day um, as I'm creating this tutorial. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a Valentine's Day jumbo card template, okay? So I have, um, turned my changed my color of my background to black now i am going to go back to my drawing tool i'm going to select that rectangle um again and i want to create another rectangle okay and you can kind of eyeball that easy Go back to your select tool and you're going to select select so that you're able to only select your um, line tools that you have. So we have our rectangle here. You can see the size up there as we have that selected is 9.551 by 5.948. If we want to, we would go up here and we can change that to eight. And I'm just going to do eight by eight, okay? We're going to make it simple, eight by eight. I want to change that color to red. I'm going to change it to red. And we're going to go to my files. I am going to go to, I'm going to go to my files and I am going to go to my um, open. And I am going to go to my downloads. Because what I am doing is I'm basically trying to find a image, a Valentine's image um to place at the top so i'm just going to choose this one here and i am going to select okay go back to my image okay let me go back go here the file, go to open, go to downloads, go to my images, I'm going to drag this, keep open, okay, there's not one at, right, so let me go down to my Hold this here. I'm going to go to downloads here. And we're going to do the same thing. For whatever reason, it's not want to do it over there. We're going to drag that over here. I'm going to place this at the top. And I am going to adjust by selecting. I'm going to adjust the image. And pretty much at this point, you know, your 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 jumbo card template, pretty much your image, your template, this is pretty much your card. This is a completed um, 
card template um you can go in and add a message by selecting your text tool we're gonna put um to I'm going to put two um, happy. With love. So I put two happy with love. I go in and select my open fill panel. I am going to change the color. I want to change that to white. And I'm going to go ahead and select my line style panel, which is going to change my outline to white as well. What I also want to do is go up here and I want to change my font. I am going to change my font to Times New Roman and I am going to bring that up here and put my two happy with love too happy with love and put that here at the top and then you can always add um if you have more if you have more um designs or images or graphics that you would like to add you can they say um sometimes less is more you can um do that that's one thing you can do um another thing you can do is if you see how i'm going to remove this square i'm going to remove this and i'm going to remove this now if you see how i selected my um styles right and I select this image and I drag this in and drag it over. And you notice how it changed. It cropped itself into my background automatically. And now I can take this. Now I have a different background. I can take this box and I can then again add that to happy with love you can put that in the middle of course you you're going to want to change your color because now that white is really um being blocked by by the design so you're going to want to change that maybe it's a black or a bolder um font you know maybe enlarged it background you know something like that but that's just the gist of it. That's how you would create your custom um, jumbo card template in Silhouette Studios. Then I will go up here to my group select shapes and I'm going to group that so that this is a complete design all in one. And I'm going to place it. And I like to select my center page. So it's centered to my page. It says to happy with love. You can also put happy Valentine's Day, whatever you would like to put at that point on there. I'm going to go, go to files. Once again, this is the business edition. So I'm going to go to save as I am going to save to hard drive. I am going to put Valentine's Day. Two, Valentine's Day tutorial two. And I'm going to select PNG. I'm going to select downloads because that's where I want it to be saved as. I'm going to select OK. Once I select OK, you see where it says dots per inch. You want that to be 300, and that's your DPI, or DPI, okay? And I want it to, it doesn't have to have a transparent background because I really want 
you know, you want the background to be um, as it is. And you're going to save it. And from there, you should be able to um, print that, download it, send it to a printer, order prints, whatever. You should be able to do whatever you would like to do. Um, upload this to sell on Etsy, sell on your website, whatever. At this point, this is a ready product. Um, for you to offer to customers, you know, do whatever, however you would like to do. It's, it's a finished product, pretty much. And just like that, you know, something as simple, you know, maybe 15 minutes to do, not even that, you know, and the more you do it, the quicker you'll get with it. But you have several ways that you can actually create this and it takes no time. So I hope that this is something that was able to um, assist you to help you be able to get to your next steps when it comes down to creating these jumbo cards. Once again, my name is Joy. I'm the owner of BBH Customs. You can uh, find me on Facebook at BBH Customs. Uh, my website is bbhcustoms.store. have an Etsy shop, which is designed with BBH Customs. I am um, BBH Customs 1 on uh, Instagram and at bbh customs on youtube so get a chance like and subscribe thank you thank you for your time and as always take these tools add them to your tool files which you can't use today maybe you can use tomorrow thank you